no good evening everyone good evening hi how do you feel today days Hi. Hi, teacher. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, teacher. I'm having this travel again. Okay, let's start the class then. Welcome. I think you are uh, in order to honor you okay, with punctuality. Uh, we are going to start a class today by uh, doing our feedback. Yesterday, we were talking about different um, guidelines we can use in an etiquette to write an email. But remember that you can write emails in different um, situations, formal and informal, all right? Formal and informal. And in a work environment, you use formal emails, right? Formal emails, professional emails. So we need to use polite language. And also, we need to follow some etiquette rules, right? Some etiquette guidelines. This etiquette is professional etiquette when writing texts, all right? Okay, people, let's go to those guidelines. As a manner of review, and also uh, I posted an activity over there in the platform. It's about doing, uh, may, um, sorry, sending a formal email. Even though you're no, you are not going to send it, but you are going to write a formal email following a template. Mm. Let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, we can see a list of guidelines. Uh, let's read it together, okay? Let's read it together. It doesn't change the screen. Okay, here it is. It changed already. So it says, read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal. For the informal emails, this is discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal. Okay, let's look at number one. Number one, what does it say? Please read it. Fit in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just documents or important. Okay. Uh, the stress and this word is recipient. Okay. Re recipient. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here too, it's the same uh, intonation pattern, important. Important, yeah. Important. Important. Mm -hmm. Important. 
Okay, so we need to fill in that um, box in the composed screen of your uh, email account, right? Uh, when you write a, an email, a complete sentence, a complete idea. And go into basics, subject, verb, complement, or a few words, an expression that gives you a clue what the content is about, okay? Number two, it says, include a polite salutation. Este que está acá, esta abreviatura es for example, okay? ED significa for example. In English, they use this Latin abbreviation. This is an expression in the Latin language, okay? Example, gratia means this. So, for example, we need to use the word beer and we use the title for the person we are addressing our email. If it is a man, it doesn't matter if it is young, old, or married, single, or unmarried, okay? Mm, living in a free union, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. For a man, they are called mister, okay? Mister. And usually, with this title, we use, we use the... Mm, last name okay we use the last name we can place the complete name right we can say for example dear mr um, carlos uh, galan okay dear mr freddy vasquez okay you can use the complete name or the name this person is known to you okay then it says, for example, for a woman, a lady, if we know that she is single, we're going to say miss, right? Miss. But if we don't know, and for respect, mm -hmm, due to respect, we will say miss, yeah, miss, M-S, and that. And then we say the last name, okay? Dear miss, uh, let's say, Hernandez, right? Dear Miss Ramirez, okay? If we know this lady is married, then we are going to address the title Mrs. Mrs. That's M-R-S. Like this. Dear Mrs. and then the last name, okay? Last name or the complete name, or the full name, I'm sorry, the full name. You can also uh, greet in this salutation, you can greet good morning, good evening, good afternoon, um, good day, also good day. If, for example, you are sending this email through uh, to the other side of the world, yeah, so here it is at night. So you're not going to say a good night because over there is in the morning. So they are reading in real time, yeah, a, the, the email. So it's better if we avoid saying exact um, a specific greetings like good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever. We can say Good day, have a good day, mm, good day. Then write your main point in the opening sentence, right? Number three, please read number three. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Yes, so what does it mean exactly? What does it mean exactly?
go straight to the point, right? Don't go by the branches. Go straight to the point. Because an email has to be brief and it is direct. This is not a letter as the old fashioned letters, okay? This is a message we are sending, okay? But we need to go right to the point from the first, from the first sentence. We can use, for example, regarding to or in order to as the example, right? Then, number four, number four, please read number four. Don't use all capital and or all lowercase letters. Mm -hmm. So, what does it mean? That you, me, there is a uh, noise over there. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> so, it means that you must follow the... Um, say spelling, grammar, rules. And one of these writing rules is that you need to start with a capital letter, then lower cases, right? And then if it is a proper name, then use capitals. If it is a, a month, a day, a place with a proper name, right? Then you use capital. A, a title of a book, for example, it takes capital letters, but not the body of the of a text, right? So you can you have to use capital correctly and lower cases correctly. Okay. If you use all lowercase letters, mm, you are not correct. It's not good sin. It's not good sign either, okay? And all capital, how do you feel when you read something all capital or the whole text capitalized? How do you feel? What is the meaning of this like? Yeah? How do you feel when you read something all in capital? Ajá. ¿Qué sienten ustedes cuando leen un texto todo en mayúsculas? What do you feel? What do you think about? <laughs> Como que le están hablando fuerte. <laughs> o le están gritando. <laughs> so it's like shouting at you. And, you know, you're like, mm, right, something frightening. Or I don't know, <laughs> this kind of situation you feel, right? Okay, avoid abbreviations. For example, please, right? P-L-Z, please. Mm -hmm. There is another like ASAP, for example, like ASAP. This means as soon as possible, right? As soon as possible. FYI, for your information, right? Or you write something like this, <laughs> that you are laughing <laughs> out loud, yeah. And um, I don't know. Um, thank you. You usually, well, I usually do this in the WhatsApp, but not in a formal email, right? You can say thanks. Avoid doing that. Avoid doing that. Okay. Mm, maybe you use I don't know what all other can we use at this moment, but. There are a lot that you can find, yeah. Like for example, I write in the text messages are you, and I say there, right? Are you there? Yeah. So we are not going to use that, right? Or saying to tomorrow, right? Like this tomorrow. No, we are not using this kind of abbreviations and formal emails, right? But you can use these and uh, when you go on Facebook or when you mm, WhatsApp, right? When you send text, when you text. 
Um, so number six. Be polite, remember to write, please, and thank you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember to write, please, and thank you. Um, sometimes it's not that you are, um, let's say, um, you are not requesting for something. Maybe you are informing, but even when you are informing, you have to say, please, the attention to you, right? Or um, thank you for the attention, right? Thank you for being attentive to the message you are sending. Number seven, number seven. Be brief. Be brief. Ah, be brief. Be brief. Be brief. If your message message is too long, consider using an attachment. Okay, message. 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 Okay, that's clear, right? Mm, be brief. Short. Straight to the point. Number eight. Use floating phrase, phrase like best trigger, triggers. Looking forward to your comments. Okay. So the closing or the dismissal I said yesterday, the closing phrase is important. You've got to write, for example, best it, regards it, or just regards. Looking forward to your comments. Look, looking for one, forward to your reply. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Um, so it's important. Then you have to add a signature block with appropriate contact information. Your name, your business, address, and your phone number, even if you are in within the company. Okay. With if you are sending these um, email um within the company, within any other colleague, then you have to block your signature, right? Um <clears throat> how to contact you, not just by email, right? Uh, number 10, oh, this is, I think, very important to remember. And I had a problem today for not doing that number 10, guys. Oh, this is experience today. And I have to go and fix this situation I, I have. Uh, it, the edit and... Proof read before you send a message. Hmm, I didn't proofread. I didn't double check if it was correct. I didn't see if I attached the document I had to. And I didn't edit. I didn't correct it, right? I didn't edit what it was wrong. So you must edit and proofread it. Proofread it, okay? That's important. I think that's mm, one of the most important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it happened to me today. Have you ever happened that? That you forget the attachment? Yeah. How do you feel? How, how do you feel when that happens? How do you feel? I have to send the attachment in another email. Oh, I have to. Oh, I'll do it a lot of things, right? Imagine if you didn't um, get an account. Maybe you didn't realize that you were making a mistake because you didn't prove it. Oh, my God. That's worst. Yeah, that's worst. And <laughs> there is a word like it sucks, right? It sucks. All right. So let's read these two emails. According to this list, according to this list of guidelines, read the first one and look. Is it a formal or an informal email? Then read the second one and think. Is it a formal or an informal read, uh, email?
superior is informal. And the next. Can you tell me why? Uh, the superior in the in mm -hmm. email mm -hmm. is informal. Mm -hmm. Tell me a reason why oh, you decided this is informal. Uh, is a uh, abbreviation. Um, I don't. Um, Over here, look, read? number eight. Uh huh. There is an abbreviation. <laughs> The closing, right? In the closing. Yeah. The closing yeah. phrase, right? See you. This is the closing phrase, right? A ver, Aida, dígamelo nuevamente. There is. There is. Uh -huh. um, in the close, uh, abbreviation. Okay. Um, there is an abbreviation. There is an abbreviation in in close the, the closing, in the, the closing, closing the closing phrase right okay yeah. what about the second one is it formal is it informal what do you think Okay, um, what about the subject? Mm, well, it says tomorrow's meeting. You understand that, right? Okay, that, it doesn't say document, it, it doesn't say important. Does it include a polite, a polite salutation? Does it include a polite salutation? No, right? It doesn't say, dear Robert or dear Mr. Robert. No, right? It says just Robert. Mm -hmm. Number three, write your main point in the opening sentence. Remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Does it say? Well, yeah, it says that in the first one, right? Mm. Do they use all capital or all lowercase letter? No, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has some mistakes. Um like don't right look don't forget mm, but you understand right so it's informal too okay both are informal both are informal okay uh it doesn't have a closing phrase right uh, is it brief yes it is but it is too brief this is like a reminder, right? This is like a reminder more than a formal email. It's not important sometimes in some environments if you send a formal or an informal email. It depends on the relationships and the, it depends also um, on the activity of your company. But this is the situation. The etiquette for writing formal emails uh, comprise this, okay? It, it's a muff, it's a rule, yeah? Each of these are rules to follow in a formal email, okay? So uh, on the platform, I sent that post that you have to write a professional email to a coworker confirming that you need to meet him or her tomorrow so you have to apply the suggestions from these um a exercise right for example i would say mm, suggestion use a formal salutation yeah or a polite salutation uh use a closing phrase mm, what else well actually these stem you are going to follow so let's go to the uh um platform okay Let's go to the platform and complete these feedback and review and practice. Today, we have uh, this vocabulary practice. We are 
going to the platform. Everybody, please go to the platform. Are you guys there yet? You can you can access different ways. You may go right scrolling down in the video conference from yesterday. Okay, writing a formal email. Yeah. It says write a professional email to a coworker, confirm that you need to meet him or her tomorrow. Apply the suggestions, vocabulary, and grammar should and shouldn't. Use polite requests like could you please? Would you mind? and follow the steps on the template. I made this template for you, okay? So, well, actually, I don't know if you can, okay, yeah, 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 we can do it this way. Zoom. Oops, ooh, hoo, hoo, what is that? Oh, what did I do? Oh, here it is. The Zoom, I need the Zoom. <clears throat> Again. What am I doing? Okay, here we are. So on the subject, well, first of all, go to your Gmail, okay? Lo primero que pueden hacer es ir a su email, yeah? Agarrar acá, hacer un click and compose para agarrar este template, okay? Así, este cuadrito, ¿verdad? Empiezan ustedes, pueden tomar este ejemplo, subject, y ustedes en la casilla de subject, ustedes ponen de lo que se trata. ¿Se acuerdan que era una meeting, verdad? Así como la de Robert. Entonces, uh, <coughs> acuérdense de todos los tips. Luego, pues, tenemos que hacer las, eh, eh, poner la dirección de alguien ahí, ¿verdad? Luego, eh, lo primeritito, formal greeting, ¿verdad? Dear, yeah, or good day, good morning, good evening. Uh, Mr., Miss, Mrs., and the name, right? Uh, for example, good morning, Mrs. Aida Ramirez, right? All right, there you go. Oh, Miss, you can say Miss too, right? Discuss any important background information, especially if you're writing to someone new. Mm, okay. Any important background information in order to regarding to that request, right? Or these two uh, expressions. Then we have craft a message body that is clear and direct, brief, right? Two, three sentences. Two, three questions and one answer, okay? One affirmative, one negative, one question. It depends on what you are saying, but go straight to the point. <clears throat> and with a call to action, looking forward to, okay? Looking forward to... Mm, seeing you mm, to your reply to your comments and then the formal sign off right the formal sign off best regards regards okay uh best wishes you can say to best wishes mm -hmm. uh then your name 
your title or your job position, yeah, your contact information, the company name, right? So include all, all of these and these very moments, okay? And let's do it in, let's think about five minutes, okay? Everybody please try. Go to your email, get this screen and do it. Then you make a screenshot and you can upload it over here. Look in this icon when you reply here. Yeah, you go to open your pictures, right? When you do the screenshot, then you go to your screenshots if you have the uh, system or, mo a, or model, right? And then you click on attach or open, right? There you go. And then you submit. Now where it says over here, okay. Then you go, okay. Right? Are we okay so far? Estamos bien hasta este momento? Yes, it's Yes, okay. Take five minutes right now. Take five minutes to do it. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember, if you have any question, please let me know.
Everything okay? Hmm. Tell me, Fernando. Oh, okay. You still typing? We okay for those who just joined. Go to the platform and um go to the discussion label. And do the activity. We are writing a formal email according to the guidelines on the manual. Thank <clears throat> you. 
¿Alguien tiene una pregunta? Um, no, puedo no puedo encontrar el lugar donde es que lo vamos a pegar. Sí. Sorry. Ok, acá, mire, ahorita le voy a mostrar en, en, en la... Estoy en la plataforma, pero no, no doy. Ok, ahí hay un... Um, mira que abajo de mi publicación eh, tiene usted su cuadrito, ¿verdad? Usted se pone ahí y le da en este icono de acá. Para, para llegar ahí a esa, a esa pantalla. Ah, ok, a la discusión. Vaya, vale, usted yeah. tiene, se va allá, entra a curso, ¿verdad? Luego dice section 3 y llega hasta la video conference number 13. Yeah. Acá, esta conferencia, da clic aquí. Ahorita va a aparecer otra vez, se va a cargar. Y acá. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, you scroll down, se va hasta abajo. Y ya lo puede hacer ahí. Oh, añade una publicación. Uh -huh. no, um, no, no, añade una publicación, no. Vaya hasta abajo. Y le tiene que aparecer ya el cuadrito donde usted hace su reply o su respuesta. Oh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ya Ajá. lo vi. Y luego aquí, porque si usted añade publicación, hace uno igual que el que yo envié. Ok. Uh -huh. Aquí el archivo. Uh, got it. Uh -huh. Now, description, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, you just say, um, write in a formal email if you want, mm -hmm, because you have already done it, right? You just right. need the screenshot. Write in formally. Mm -hmm. uh, email, right? Yes, like this, writing a formal email. Email. Para los que están en teléfono y les esté costando Háganlo en papel, en su cuaderno, le toman la foto y la suben. Uh, you just uh, click on, uh, it's only descriptive. Uh, no, it's only, uh, it's only illustration or something like that, it says. It's only uh, for illustration purposes. Uh, you don't need any description. Okay. I do it. Okay. I'll take it right now. Did you submit? Yes. All right. I think so. Okay. Let's look at, yeah, here or there. Here it is. Very good. Meeting new project. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we have the appropriate salutation, right? We, we say, uh, good morning. And then the title, Mr., right? Mr. Vasquez, because with the title, we use the last name. Very good. The reason of this message is about the message, the, I'm sorry, the next project with- uh, Our, yeah. Oh, our, okay. <laughs> our company. Uh, but yes, because without means yeah. something too, so. Yeah. Um, our next meeting is on Monday 9th, the 9th, 
of October. Ah, you see, this is the way to, uh, in the British format, okay? This is the British format. You use Monday the 9th of October, yeah? At Probably. 9 a.m. But American gets October 1st, right? Oh. Monday, October the 9th, right? At 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Plays, uh, yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Office office building. Uh, our company will be at the beginning. Our company office building. Okay. Oh. Our company office building. And good meeting room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our office building meeting room. And okay. see you soon. Okay. That's good. See you soon. But it's better if you use a, to do this uh, more formal. It would say looking, I am looking forward to seeing you. Okay. I am looking forward to seeing you. Okay. okay. Uh huh. <clears throat> this is your this is your block sign right yeah your your block signature okay there you go very good great excellent yeah there you go did anybody send it Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Uh, statement will be better if you say status, status or state. Mm -hmm. Sending requested account information. You can check the balance to be left in good standing and the balance to be settled today. That's a very good one. Mm -hmm. Any questions or Pardon. inquiries? Pardon. You could say queries. It's okay, but company may la end. A company. <laughs> company. Oh, okay. Company. <laughs> uh, okay, there you go. And greet. Uh, greets you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, that will be better if you say regards. Okay. Regards. Or mm, yours. Yours. In, Yours sincerely. Ah, this is a thing that we don't use in Spanish anymore. And it seems very old fashioned and very, let's say, cursy, right? <laughs> when we say uh, <clears throat> yours sincerely. This is a very good, um, instead of yours sincerely. Yours sincerely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's better. And this is very formal and it's good. It's a good expression for this, okay? Yours is your Thank you, teach. Your and then your telephone. I like your number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sin <So>. corriente. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it, uh -huh. You're missing the, the last part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Let's continue and see who sent it. Oh, that's going to move.
Oh, good. Good, Rosa Estela. Construction progress meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Pro appropriate salutation. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, I would like. Great. Mm -hmm. You should. Great. You should. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the best thing. <clears throat> should again. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is important because when you are reading, avoid the contractions too, because in some occasions it could make it could cause confusions, right? Mm -hmm. But this is good. Teacher, the, con the contraction is formal or is informal? Um, well, it's formal for speaking, okay? Formal for speaking. But um, the email, well, actually, it's not informal if you use the correct contraction, okay? the correct or the proper contraction. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But if you can avoid it, mm, it's better. This is like preferences, right? In the etiquette. Uh -huh. Do not hesitate. Ah, this is a very good one. This is a very good one. Do not hesitate to contact me. Mm -hmm. Don't stop yourself, right? Uh, to contact me by the same, new, uh, same means. Mm -hmm. You can use same matter too. Same matter. M A T T E R. Matter. Um, <clears throat> it says mm -hmm. great. And your phone number. Great. Very good. You got it. Okay, more? Okay, people, I will stop sharing. For those who didn't um, get to uh, send it, please do it, okay? Please do it. It's important for your practice. All right, people, so let's continue with this because the next part of the class includes a um, way to maintain the harmony in the company okay to maintain the class too the behavior the good behavior good manners remember that in any place we we have social and cultural etiquette okay social and cultural um, appropriate etiquette guidelines it is not the same how we treat each other in El Salvador than in China, okay? In China, they have different, a different culture, different etiquette guidelines, okay? So you make sure you are on the dot, okay? That you are, uh, a, let's say, you are aware of all the etiquette guidelines of the place where you are. Maybe European have a different guidelines, uh, gu uh, culture and different etiquette guidelines. So it's important for you and that's your obligation or your task to do. Be aware of the etiquette where you are working at. In my company, for example, we need to maintain um, these easygoing and these open um, doors policy, okay? Open doors policy uh, never closes any door for anybody or to anybody. Everybody is welcome to come and um, talk to your boss. Okay, talk to your boss, talk to your superiors. All right, so 
uh, today we are we are going to do a reading, okay? This is a reading activity and it's very important. I will present a video, okay? I found another video that I prepared years ago and when the technology uh, was not so developed and the pandemic, yeah, we were still struggling with the online classes, but I made a video and this is a reading activity. Okay, so I will present this activity. I'm seeing some, oh, thank you. Who sent this? Fernando, thank you for your chat. Aha, uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes. Isabel, thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. Teacher, tengo una llamada en el trabajo. Eh, okay. Ya me conecto en unos 15 minutos. All right, Ronald. Uh, well, I don't understand the last part, Isabel. It says, could you make yourself presentable, please? No entiendo qué es lo que quiere decir con la última oración. Isabel. Escucha bien ahora. Now, yes. Uh -huh. Before I couldn't. Sí. Ah, quise poner, podrías ponerte presentable, por favor. Ah, ponerte presentable. O sea, se refiere a la ropa. Ajá, su personalidad. Oh, ok. Can you make yourself mm, presentable, please? Bueno, sí, más o menos sí es esa la idea. Por eso teníamos que ver si era eso lo que quería decir. Ok, so, yes. Solo le falta un closing ahí, Isabel, ¿verdad? Le falta un closing y su signature, su firma. Le falta una frase así como llamar a la acción, ¿verdad? En este caso sería looking forward o uh, a ver, ¿cuál otro? Recuérdenme, por favor, de los que hemos dicho. Looking forward to seeing you. Do not hesitate in contacting me. Uh, ¿Cuál era la otra? Looking forward to your reply. Uh, looking forward to your... No. Yeah, to your reply. Ah, y el, y el saludo final, ¿verdad? Regards. Best okay. regards. Uh -huh. Regards significa como nosotros ponemos, ¿verdad? Saludos cordiales. ¿Ya? Yeah, eso significa. Y best como regards como más. Eh, no, no, no. Como al principio, no. Al principio es un, un saludo de entrada. Pero okay. al final es un saludo de salida o de despedida. Okay. Entonces ahí tiene que poner eh, esa palabra. Regards. R-E-G-A-D. Perdón. G-A-R-D-S. Eh, en inglés. R-E-G-A-R-D-S. What a beautiful princess we have as a guest in this class. Hello, Freddy's daughter. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hey, hola. Hi, what is your name? Se llama. Maite. Maite? Sí. Oh, beautiful name. Look, this is all your daddy's okay. class. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Okay, thank you for joining. All right, people, so now we are going to um, uh, move just a little forward and think about the etiquette guidelines we must follow in a workplace, any workplace or your workplace, okay? So let's, um, ah, I was about to present a video, I remember, yeah, here we go.
We're almost there. Good etiquette at the workplace. Uh, <clears throat> try to read along the video, okay? Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, something's happening in the Zoom. But here we go, now it is. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the office emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. I will play it play it again, okay? There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. 
Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the office emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating, and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay, words that you remember. Keywords. Words that you remember. A ver, ¿qué palabras recuerdan? Words that you remember from the reading. No. Etiquettes. 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 Todos digamos esa palabra, etiquettes. Etiquettes. Etiquette. 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 Etiquette.
Yes. Hal mm. or boss. Mama. Yeah. Uh -huh. ya, eh, sería una regla. Tenemos que call or bus. ¿Y qué vamos a dar? Of, of, of traffic. Yeah, the accident. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. And guys, are you punctual? Or are you a late comer? For reasons out of your hand, right? Not for getting up late, right? <laughs> Not for getting up late. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go to the manual, all right? Let's go to the manual. In the manual, we have the reading. Uh, this is on page number 35, <clears throat> page 35. This is an article taken from somewhere. And we want to identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions that we have be below the reading. So let's try reading by ourselves, okay? Reading by ourselves. I want you to follow the reading. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Stephanie, please read the first paragraph. There are many workplace eti etiquette, etiquette. etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, that is okay. We will. We'll However, 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 habitual late commerce habitual, are never habitual late commerce habitual habitual late, habitual late commerce are never a per se in any organization if you get to your your office on time you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization if you know that you will be late then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerner authority and report the reason why you are late. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Stephanie. Okay, who wants to continue? The next paragraph. Etiquette is also important when you have to communi communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge, uh, knowledge of the workplace, email, etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be conscious. You also need to include wholly the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for email. Okay, this word is be concise. Be, be concise. concise. Mm -hmm. concise. And the other was official. Uh, 
in the in the audio before we heard office, right? But it's a different word. But the word in the article is official. Official, official emails. emails. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is good knowledge. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Knowledge. Grammatically. Okay. Grammatically. Grammatically. Mm -hmm. You can pronounce this with a strong T or a, a um, soft T, like okay. grammatically or grammatically, but you okay. just uh, make the letter A silent. Grammatically. Uh -huh. Continue, guys. Who wants to continue? Mm -hmm. Okay, please. In a, okay. In addition, knowledge or of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very simple. We have to speak mm -hmm. on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when Mom. you talk <laughs> to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what Mom. they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to a boy grow interpretation. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. I see we are... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, pleased to have another guest over there. Okay, look, um, the same, knowledge, knowledge, mm -hmm. knowledge. knowledge, and the other was essential, 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 mm -hmm. here, essential. The other one was carefully, carefully, yeah, carefully. And this word is important. We don't, in Spanish, we say interrumpir. So, cuando queremos decir esta palabra en inglés, siempre decimos interrupt, pero no, es interrupt. Okay, interrupt. Fíjense que cuando yo les doy así las pronunciaciones, ustedes ahí con su micrófono apagadito, si no se quieren oír así como el mercado central, no importa, pero es importante que lo pronuncien, lo imiten, porque después siguen con el mismo error. Entonces, para corregir los errores, vamos eh, todos, ¿verdad? Pronunciando, imitando. And rot, and rot. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah. no veo sus labios moviéndose, jóvenes. No me voy a mover de ahí hasta que vea esa palabra todos. A ver. Interrupt. Hey. Interrupt. 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 Yes. Ajá. Interrupt. 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 Okay. Interrupt. And this is interpretations. 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 Okay, now I see your lips. Very good. Mm, and the last one. Who wants to read the last paragraph? Last paragraph? I do Go ahead. Uh, someone say yo. Pepe. Eh, yo. <laughs> no, okay, Fernando Noel, go ahead. No lo miraba, I'm sorry. Bueno, eh, y todavía eh, no lo veo, pero dele. <laughs> no, dice si que tenga la luz apagada. Quiero ver si la mía se me duerme, pero no. Ah, ok. Quiere. Bueno, eh, empiece a leerlo para que la aburramos, vamos. <laughs> párrafo de etiqueta. Yes, the last one. Okay. Etiquette good life are important ever when you are celebrating celebrating well, with your co worker. Did you get a call when you are eating? Say excuse me and then behave the car.
Kai to save the cult. Do not talk cloudy while eating. And remember to close the mouth when you can. You should remember that your behavior and manner are under observation. Following a ticket green line can play a very a very vital role for future promote prom promotions. promotions. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Prom guidelines. Yes. These are guidelines. Guidelines. Mm -hmm. Guidelines. Yes. Celebrating. Oh. Celebrating. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. You celebrate. Uh, I think you say celebrating, algo así, Cele uh, celebrating. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then eating, remember, you can say eating or eating. It doesn't matter the letter T in this case, eating, right? <clears throat> and this is receive, receive, receive. Siempre tendemos a leer esto como receive. No, este es receive. <laughs> Miren, receive. Mm -hmm. This is loudly, 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 loudly. Loudly. Mm -hmm. loudly. Acá no decimos mouse, aquí decimos mouse, mouse. Mm -hmm. Your mouth. When you yeah. chew. Okay. Are you not stuck? No, this is chew. Ah, yeah. es que como lo he dicho que se hace está. <clears throat> no, in this case, no. And this one, particularly, mm -mm, this particular word, no. This is chew, like this. <laughs> as if you as okay. if you say chew, right? Chew or, <laughs> yeah, that sound, chew. Ya me voy a Means <laughs> masticar, okay? Chew. You should remember... That your behavior and manners are uh, okay. Uh, you say very vital, okay? Vital. This is vital. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vital. 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 Mm -hmm. And promotions. Okay, then. Uh, is there any questions so far about the reading? Questions? No questions? Teacher, viral means uh, say with R O R the al final. Again, again, again? Viral. Uh, uh huh. It R O R. And uh, the end. I can barely hear you, Fernando. I'm sorry. I can barely hear you. One second. One second. Let me just to see if this connects now. Vital is con R O L al final. Sorry, uh, vital, R O L. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, no. It's uh, as you read vital. You, así lo leyó usted al principio. Uh -huh. Vital. Porque es T A L, ¿verdad? T A L. Entonces es vital. Yeah, vital. Con D, de dedo. No, with a letter T. With a letter T. If you no, want to like, say vital, it's okay. But you've got to say bye. Okay? Okay, bye. Vital. Mm -hmm. Vital. Bye, bye. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, <clears throat> no more questions? Yeah, someone was getting... Aida, you, you had a question, right? No? Who has a question? No questions? No question, teacher. No question. 
Vaya, entonces vámonos al breakout room. Ahí les van a sugerir las preguntas. Vamos. Necesitamos que nuestro cerebro haga preguntas. Vamos. Doesn't give me the breakout rooms today either. Oh my God. Here we go. Nos vamos a ir al breakout room y vamos a hacer la actividad de comprensión lectora que viene de, después de esa actividad. ¿Ok? Eh, van a <coughs> leer nuevamente por lo menos una vez, ¿sí? Solo una vez de corrido y luego hacen la... Eh, Luego hacen la actividad de comprensión lectora. Vamos.
If you know, are you sure? Um, no. No. If you know. Variables. Only, only we are read. Or we do another. Mm. Our ¿cómo se llama? homework. Copy. Solo yo más leer o yo más hacer otra. No, para hacer las la, la, las la parte de abajo. Quiero manchar el papá. Solo yo más a leer la parte de abajo también. Sí, todo eso vamos a tenemos que contestar. Ah, contestar también está abajo. Así es. Ah, entonces, eh, a ver, if you know you are late, you should. Ah, oh. ah, ya, ya, ok. Vaya, mira. Vaya que le pongan la pilla, mamá. ¿no? ¿Se va? Vaya que te... ¿Es hora, mamá? ¿no? Eh, según lo que dice... Mañana vamos a continuar. Ya me voy a tardar de nuevo. Eh, you can... Uh, okay. Emergency, that is ok. Habitual... No, un poquito más. Eh, eh, creo que en el primer párrafo está la respuesta. Sí, es que, el, que estoy el que estoy oh. proyectando. De su imagen. O sea, la imagen, ¿verdad? No del manual. Aquí estamos, en esa que estoy proyectando, en la primera. Sí, vaya. Entonces contestemos la, la primera. Okay. If you know you are late. You should. Vale, según la lectura. Yo como que sí voy a mover la, la pantalla. Bueno. Ok, there are many WordPress in my phone. Y you are late because. Guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Entonces sería letter B. ¿Cómo, cómo? Letter B. Call the person you report to. Y dice... En, es en el párrafo dice... We'll... Anotemos, pues. Aquí es que, es que la y... respuesta eh, creo que es acá arriba uh -huh. en el primer párrafo. If you know that you will be late, then, uh -huh. then the will be to line. come, will be to uh, come to con the con concern authority, o sea, jefe, digamos. Uh -huh. In, and report the reason why we, you are late. It says, I think. We need to call the concerned authority. Authority. In a report. This to be. In a report, the reason. Why you are late? Entonces, eh,
teacher se me salió de su mesa corto, no sé qué pasó. Ahorita voy, pero fíjese que estoy viendo acá. ¿Usted en qué sala estaba, Alma? ¿En qué sala estaba usted, Alma? Um, Marta Esther y los, los dos Fernando. Oh. Uh -huh. No puedo entrar, es... <coughs> Que no para atrás, para uno más para atrás. Okay. Poco la aplicación. ¿Qué opina de la cuatro, Alma? ¿Me toca? Mm, solo la cuatro que estamos discutiendo. Que... Ah, ah, no pues, es para... no. <ríe> la segunda sería... La B. La B. B. Contestar la llamada en la mesa. Eh, <ríe> Es que según el párrafo siento que la, 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 la respuesta correcta, aunque en lo personal para ti sí que la sé. Uh -huh. Bueno, a ver qué opina. ¿Cuál dejamos? Que la, que es la B. <ríe> para la B. Mm. La B. La B. Esther, usted dice que la, la ve. Si nos quedamos según lo que dice el párrafo, sería la B. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya, Alma, ¿y usted? Sí. La B, la C. La B, la B. Esa. Le damos un párrafo cada uno antes que nos quede. Yo el segundo. ¿Quién empieza? Vaya. Que empiece Fernando. ¿Cuál? El uno. ¿Cuál Fernando? Vaya. Entonces tenemos la B. En la cuatro. Ajá, la B en la cuatro. Uh -huh. Fernando empieza a leer. Para leer el, par, el párrafo. Lo vamos a leer mientras hay tiempo. Ok, ¿cuál fue Fernando? <risa> ¿Cuál Fernando? Fernando, ay, sí, los dos. Enrique. <risa> Abu Fernando, Enrique. Estamos mal ahí. ¿Y hasta dónde? Hasta el lady. El primer... Hasta el primer Ajá. párrafo. Ah, hasta el primer párrafo. Hasta you all. Ok.
Okay, people. Number one, please, Freddy, read it and answer it. If you know you're late, you should. Here A, compensate the time. There B, call the person you report to. There C, not do anything about it. I think the answer is letter B, call the person you report to. All right, yes. Call the person you report to. Okay, number two, please, Fernando Enrique, read it and answer it. No, they say it's your because number two. Ah, the yeah, question. Perdón, 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 perdón. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What is the what is what is assigned to applicate it in office emails? And the response. Is is the express C and is express the subject, subject clear clearly. Okay, the idea is for you to read. Entre más leemos, más practicamos, ¿verdad? Vale, léame las tres oraciones que están acá. Please, okay. go ahead, do it, don't worry. <laughs> Take your time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Send. Send the email in English. Be it using a long salute, salutation. See, express the subject clearly. Okay, so the answer is again. Sorry. <clears throat> what is the answer again? Mm. What is the correct answer? Ah. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. uh, sí. uh -huh. Bien rectecito, miren, así se hace. Sorry, guys. I'm so like, like this now, right? Oh, God, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll try to do it better. <clears throat> okay, so let us see, right? Very cool. I don't know if this is going to move. No, yay. So, number three, please. Um, Marta Esther, please read number three, complete, and also give me, uh, give me the answer. Which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. There are uh, A, speak using clear voice. Letter B, interrupt, interrupt the other speaker. Letter C, use polite language. Okay, which one is the answer? Letter B, okay. interrupt the other speaker. Okay, number four, please. Uh, who wants to read it? If you receive a call, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a difficult. <laughs> if you receive a call while you're eating with co workers, you should. And my group, um, we have a discussion between, as you say, central, Yeah, between us. Uh -huh. Between letter B and letter C. Oh, between those. Uh -huh. Tell me why. Uh, um, in the text, say, uh, do not, uh, 
Dice, if you get a call when you are eating, say excuse me and then receive the call in the text. Entonces no sabíamos cuál de las dos. <laughs> Which one of both? All right. Uh -huh. But uh, <clears throat> what do you think? What? Es que cuando dice, si dice, para no, bueno, para unas era como si dice, excuse me, when you say, excuse me, eh, you, eh, you te levantas de la mesa, ajá, te levantas de la mesa y contestas, like, receive the call, mm -hmm. pero también puede ser, excuse me, y contestarla en la mesa, ajá, entonces por eso no sabíamos. Well, actually, mm, yeah, it's the same. But what I will say, um, leave the table and answer the call will be the best, right? Leave the table and answer the call will be the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. That will be the best one. Unless, unless that there are flies, right? Okay. Imagínense que hay mosquitas, ¿verdad? No se va a querer levantar o va a estar levantado así con la mano así, ¿verdad? No. Así como hay en Cuatepeque, hay un de Cuatepeque, así se come ahí. ¿Verdad? Está comiendo con una mano y con la otra está así. Bueno, yo diría, leave the table and answer the call. Esa sería como la mejor opción. Ok, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, si usted eh, eh, puso answer the call of the table y la, el razonamiento fue, fue bueno, la verdad, entonces... Puede hacer las dos cosas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero sí, es mejor levantarse, ¿verdad? Levantarse. Ok. Mm. What time is it? Time to call the roll, guys. Time to call the roll. Bien, esas dos actividades que están abajo en la página 35, ¿verdad? 35, where we are at. Are we on page 36? Okay, on page 36. Hay que hacer como un resumen de cinco eh, reglas de la etiqueta eh, desde el artículo, perdón, eh, que encuentren en el artículo, ¿verdad? Hacer la, los cinco eh, puntos. Y <clears throat> mañana al entrar... Vamos a eh, hacer como un manual de etiqueta. Así como dijimos, ¿verdad? También puede ser un manual eh, como de behavior, ¿verdad? Un behavior manual o un etiquette manual para nuestra área. Entonces, eso se los voy a postear, ¿ok? Y lo hacemos mañana al venir. Uh, please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you please say present. You guys ready? Ready. Can see you. No, it's all of you. Damaris, Marta Alicia, are you there? Fíjense que esto es una norma, jóvenes, que a la hora que nosotros eh, tomamos la asistencia es necesario, es indispensable que por favor enciendan su cámara para decir presente por razones de auditoría. A mí, yo les tengo confianza, yo sé que a, cada uno me indica, ¿verdad? Y me dice, mire, por esto y esto. Pero, aunque yo haga la anotación, es parte del requerimiento que usted encienda su cámara, ¿ok? Así que, por favor, eh, pues sí, no, no queremos confusiones ni tampoco malos entendidos al final del curso que ya no lo convocan porque usted nunca encendió su cámara, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Aida Eugenia Ramírez Chávez. Present. Ok. Alma Yamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Um, Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Damaris Lizeth Guevara Herrera. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto. 
Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Presente. Fernando Luis Mauricio Sosto. Presente. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Present teacher. Gabriela Eliseda Hernández Cruz. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Esther Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernández. Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, thank you everybody for joining tonight and remember to um, practice. Don't disconnect from English, okay? Watch the videos again. Watch the video bi, video conferences. Okay, uh, la video, perdón, la sesión uno a uno. El día de hoy es para, hoy era la 14, ¿verdad? Eh, Marta Estera y Ala Díaz. Ya, ya nos quedamos, ¿verdad? De ayer. Yes, um, teacher, Tenemos a Ronaldo Josué Guerrero, pero parece que se nos desconectó, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, tenemos entonces la que sigue en la lista sería número 16, Rosa Estela Polanco. La teacher. La teacher. Sorry. La teacher. Me las tortitas con loro o con niña. <risa> bueno, este, vaya, vamos a ver. Entonces, ¿alguien se quiere quedar el día de hoy? Nadie se quiere quedar. Bueno, entonces comenzamos con el abecedario. Vamos todos. A, B, C, D, E. Everybody. A, B, C, D, E, D, E, Guys, papa, la papa. Please do your homework and submit, all right? Bye. 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 Hi, bye bye. <laughs> uh huh. Of course, she understands. Teacher. Oh, Marta Alicia, tell me. Yo envié lo del correo. Se lo envié ahí por WhatsApp. Porque oh, ahorita lo veo en Como todo. con el teléfono, Permítame. no lo pude subir. Ah, pero lo puede subir más tardecito, sí. Solo lo voy a revisar ahorita, sí. A ver. Ok. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Oh, 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 oh. En el WhatsApp, me dice. Sí, se lo mandé a usted. Ah, ok, ok, I'm sorry. Oh, great. A ver, lo voy a hacer grande. Uh -huh. Customer account review. Uh -huh. uh, that's the customer name, all right. Then it says, good morning, dear uh mary okay <clears throat> muy bien tiene la salutación correcta uh -huh. Are we Pero, gonna... por ejemplo cuando uno no quiere mencionar a alguien en específico en específico solo se puede dejar como en there como estimados no mm, o sí. tiene que ponerse directamente que va a alguien eh, pues lo mejor es eh, dirigirla a quien corresponde, ¿verdad? Exactamente a la persona específica. 
De lo contrario, de lo contrario es que a veces hay varios, ¿verdad? Y cualquiera lo puede tomar. A eso se refiere, ¿verdad, Marta Liz? Ajá, lo que pasa es que, por ejemplo, en mi, en mi trabajo, eh, yo tengo como mi coordinadora y tengo mi supervisor. Entonces, uh -huh. nosotros no dirigimos directamente a alguien porque puede contestar cualquier persona. Ah. Entonces, oh, sí, por yeah, eso yeah. normalmente ponemos buen día, estimados, buenas tardes, estimados, uh -huh. cuando es directamente a, a dos personas. Por eso le pregunto que si es necesario en algún momento dirigirlo a alguien, porque si no, prácticamente se copia a una persona, pero se excusa a la otra. Uh -huh. Así siento yo. Sí, claro, claro, porque va directamente a esa persona. No, tiene toda la razón. Mire, hay una frase, hay una frase que eh, nosotros la usamos para cuando, por ejemplo, eh, tal vez podría caber ahí en, esa, en ese momento. A ver, se lo voy a escribir acá. A ver, ¿dónde le sale más fácil mirarlo? En el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. puede ser acá, like, to whom it may concern. Teacher está enferma, ¿verdad? Fíjese que sí, me siento bastante, bastante mal, pero no, no tra trato de, de, de sobrepasarlo porque <ríe> si no, olvídese. Ajá, pero no es, eh, no, no, no tengo ningún síntoma más que es como abrumada del trabajo, tal vez, o sea, de, de bastantes actividades. Sí, estrés, estrés. Lo que pasa es que ahorita pues, estoy en una situación bastante delicada con mi padre, entonces estamos así como muy a la expectativa, ¿verdad? Que, que todo esté bien y lo hemos estado cuidando y pues nos desvelamos y toda la cuestión. Entonces eso nos, eso me tiene que, mi ojo, mi ojo está muy, muy, muy entrado en, en, en problema, me cuesta sostenerlo, mire, ahí me está jale, 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 pero no quería contar, I'm sorry, no quería contar, mire, pues ahí está, ya, yeah, ahí está. Ah, pero, ay, no, no, me, me ha costado mucho ver el día de hoy. Me ha costado, sí se nota, ¿verdad? Quizás. Bueno, yo, desde que empezó la clase, bueno, se mira hasta un poquito rojita, como que si tuviera calentura, teacher. Sí, es, y... pero es el, el trabajo. O sea, no este trabajo en sí, mis actividades normales, sino que el extra, el, el extra que hacer. Uh -huh. o como obligaciones pues de, de mi familia verdad pero son cuestiones bastante eh, serias ahorita lo tenemos conectado con oxígeno y toda la cuestión entonces sí estamos así vea pero primero Ay, ya ya vamos a salir de eso y él va a estar bien <ríe> Ok, uh, estábamos viendo me dice el 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 email ahí ya me quedo trabado otra vez, perdóneme, perdóneme, ahorita voy, lo quiero ver, no lo puedo ver, hoy sí, ya lo veo, aquí está mi bebé también, por eso yo les digo, no regañen a los bebés, les digo yo, ellos son muy lindos, a ver, um... oh no, estábamos con la frase que le acabo de enviar ahí en el WhatsApp, uh, it says, uh, to whom it may concern, ese es como a quien interese, ¿verdad?, a quien interese. Mm, para su caso, no sé si eso eh, sea apropiado. Podríamos ver, eh, eh, analizar y evaluar. Pero sí, también lo puede de dejar como dear. Uh -huh. Dear en coma, aunque no, no, no mucho. No mucho. Uh, o puede ser como en plural, ¿verdad? Como, ajá, estimados colegas, ¿ya? Yeah, colegas. Uh, así como decimos nosotros, colleagues, ¿verdad? Puede ser dear colleagues, como en general para todos, ¿verdad? O dear team, así como a veces les digo yo a ustedes en el WhatsApp, les pongo dear class, ¿verdad? Para todos. Y ahí cada quien agarra su pedacito. ¿verdad? Entonces, sí puede ponerlo así. Ok, uh -huh. sí, porque como me fijé que la mayoría y en los ejemplos que nos ha puesto, así como que va siempre dirigido a alguien. Sí, porque según la etiqueta, pues es necesario eh, como 
eso se llama, en inglés se llama to address something or to address someone. Como dirigir algo a alguien. O sea, hacerlo como directamente. O sea, sí, dirigirlo, dirigirlo. Uh -huh. Y es importante. Pero, en inglés sí es muy importante. Un tú a tú, ¿verdad? Digo yo. Sí. Cuando usted ya directamente dirigido a tal vez a una persona en específica. Sí, pero en y este caso, como usted me dice que es todo el equipo, ¿verdad? Y cualquiera puede tomarlo, como decir en el listado, me salió y yo lo voy a tomar este porque me, es parte de lo que estoy haciendo. O a mí me toca hacer eso también. Entonces, eh, o el que va en fila, ¿verdad? Digamos, a veces, el que va en fila. Entonces, ahí quizás debiera ser Dear Tim. O sí, 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 sí lo toma, ¿verdad? Como le estoy diciendo. Ahí en el WhatsApp le puse... Dear class, creo que puse, ¿verdad? No, dear Cole. colleagues. Ajá, dear colleagues or dear team. Sí. Dear team. Y ya cualquiera lo puede tomar. Como haciéndolo en plural. Y eso sí ya sería estimados. Ese sí ya es un plural. Uh -huh. Ya es un okay. plural. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Ok, nice. Ajá. Vaya, te echarme un poquito más. Gusto, Marta, Alicia. Para que descanse y, y se vaya gracias. a relajar. Sí. <ríe> Muchas gracias, Marta, Alicia. Con gusto. Bueno, pues, pase feliz noche. Have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Mm.